I am Corey Evans, and I am the boss of this department. It's my job to keep all these workaholic animals from, you know, killing each other. They're very dedicated, but dangerous. Working hard there, Jackie. I love it. I love it. My name is Jack Worrell. I have been working here for 18 years, and I absolutely hate Corey. Jack and I, we have this really tight relationship. You know, he doesn't like to show it, but, but I know it's there. I've kind of taken him under my wing, and I'm going to turn him into a great eagle one day. Ka, ka, ka. Yes, great eagle indeed. Ka. He is literally the worst person that I have ever met. So, how you been? Did you have a good breakfast? No, actually, I had to skip breakfast this morning. You know, that's, that's too bad. Um, I actually saw a very juicy looking apple sit on Marissa's desk this morning. I doubt she'd mind if you just take it over, you know, it's probably her fault that you missed breakfast anyways. Actually, it's your fault. You woke me up early this morning and asked me to come in on my day off. <laughs> well, I mean, I had to call you in because she's running behind. I'll be fine. It takes a very special kind of person to tolerate working in our office. Just do it. Uh, do what? Just take the apple. I mean, come on. She's blonde. It's okay. Wait, but aren't you blonde too? It doesn't matter. So, are you gonna do it? No, it's wrong. See? There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Alright, everyone. Come on. Follow me into the rec room. Wait, what about lunch? Nah, nah. Who needs lunch? Come on, let's go. Avery told me to make a great point today, guys, that you all need to hear. The entire morning, I have been pressuring her to steal Marissa's apple. My dying grandmother gave me that apple. But she wouldn't do it. And do you know what she told me? That you're a terrible person? Wrong! But nice try, play again next time. She told me that it was wrong. And it is. Which is why today, I'm going to show all of you a little video about ethics in business. It's a VCR, how can it have a signal? There we go. Why don't you, what? Hey, what, what can I do for you? Hey! 
Hey. So this is going to be your new supervisor. Where? Right here. That is literally wrong. Yeah, so, uh, you know, just keep doing what you're doing, the good work, have a good time, but not too much, don't anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> yeah. Can I have a week off? Yeah. Glad you see things my way. Go strike! Strike! Do you want a giraffe in the office? You get a giraffe in the office! Do you want soda in the coffee machines? You get soda in the coffee machines! Do you want roses at lunchtime? Get you get, get roses at lunchtime! Hey, strike! Hey! Hey! Woo! hey! What are you doing? I'm going on strike! You can't go on strike by yourself, idiot! I can try! Was that my supervisor? You can't throw your employees! I can if there aren't any witnesses. I'm still here. <sighs> Wait, whoa, what is that? Is that a fridge? How did you even look the fri fridge? All right. Now, can anybody tell me what this very well-made video was hinting at? Abuse? No. Ethics. Yes, but we've established that. What specifically? Ethics. Specifically, human resource management. Exactly. Can I go eat lunch now? No. I believe that in business, employees need motivation. Jack's motivation is lunch. I haven't had a lunch break since I started working here. So, how do you feel that ethics should apply in business? We should be held to moral standards. But morals and ethics are different. Ethics are the social and moral responsibilities in the decision making of a business. Sometimes Marissa says really intelligent things to get a raise. And it works. So they are different in business. Yes. Marissa, remind me to give you a raise later? See, from, say, a moral standpoint, I could be considered a terrible person. That, you already are a terrible person. But, in business, we have to be held accountable for the entire company. Like, in my case, I am responsible for all of your working conditions. So, does anybody have any thoughts on this? Well, I was thinking about motivation, and it's pretty ethical to give your workers incentives like, you know, raises. Raises. Sounds an awful lot like raisins. I sure am hungry. How about that lunch break? Giving acknowledgement is also pretty great, but what would be considered unethical? That would be like if I were to say, incentivize you to hack into the bank account of another business, or you know, openly and publicly slander a rival firm. But you already do that. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. No, never. No. <laughs> There's this one instance a while back when Corey thought it would be a great idea to raise awareness for how many bees could fit inside one person's car at a rival firm. In case you were wondering, it's 485,000. Yeah, 485,000 bees can fit in one car. Who would have thought? It's just for, you know, simulation and raising public awareness. Bees are in fact very versatile and dangerous. You should be a politician for beekeepers. Moving on. All right, let's keep this thought train going. Ideas, people, come on, throw them out there, feed me. Well, since we're talking about legality and fairness, we could also apply this to leadership and management. I'd love to talk about that. You see, you, Corey, I think, are a complete contradiction as a leader, and you are a terrible and just awful mess of a person and a manager. See, it's good that there are differences in opinion. We need that. Only one opinion. You know, you tend to treat us differently, too. I can't remember the last time any of us have gotten recognition. One time, Corey tried to convince us that polar bears didn't exist. Jack almost got fired trying to tell him otherwise. Not my proudest moment. Marissa, 
Do you share these feelings? Yeah. No, no. That's why you're my favorite. <laughs> Unequal treatment? Because she's a brown noser. That is not true. But management wise, it is the first time in three years you've actually monitored us. Marissa? Yeah. You're no longer my favorite. change topics to something that is not passive-aggressively trying to attack your boss. We could discuss employee relations. Yeah, the company's effort to manage the relationship between employers and employees. Which, obviously, our company sucks at because you still work here. Oh, That's what he gets for breaking my heart! Stop being passive-aggressive! more consistent treatment for us. You mean you guys don't like the way I treat you? No. Not, not really, at all. no. Okay. No. Well, I mean, you're still working here though, aren't you? You do have a point. And the worst part is he does. You do have your own special way of taking care of us. Yeah, I guess you're not so bad. Okay, guys, let's just agree to disagree. You know what? Thanks, guys. This means a lot to me. Um, anyways, I have something for all of you. <laughs> Are these case studies? Yep. Wait, we actually have to do these? We haven't done a case study since that one Cleaver guy quit. He was the best. Really tied the place together. What about our jobs? No, no, not important. We have a shipment due in 10 minutes. Well then, I guess you better work faster, you're fired. Ah! <laughs> Walking around Ooh. I would rather, I would rather go blind, boy Oh, hey there, Mr. Cleaver I bet you never thought you'd see me here back in Ivy Business and Management HL on first blast Now, draw me like one of your French girls